it has just come to my knowledge that 16 women die every day in my country during giving birth. When I went back home in Kenya, I thought women were not dying in pregnancy and childbirth until I realized, until my, I did my own research and realized that no, it's happening. I knew there was this problem, but I thought maybe five, six women a day. So I was shocked to hear it's uh, like 24, 20 women a, a, a day. On the International Day of Midwife, we had a breakfast meeting with uh, media houses. We got um, some midwives uh, working at the grassroots level to come out to um, testify about the challenges they are facing. And also on International Women's Day, we had another media roundtable uh, in Abuja, and we are able to facilitate the creation of a network of uh, media houses for maternal, newborn, and child health in Nigeria. We are doing public caring programs. So before starting public caring, we will show the video uh, related to safe mother and newborn issues. And then after that, we established one problem-solving advocacy group. We share with media like radio, television, and other, uh, other paper, newspaper media. Uh, we have formed a national level advocacy group called Leaders for Change and we have six very senior editors. They meet us once in a while and we don't ask them to write about safe motherhood but to advise us about how do we increase coverage. The second thing that we do is very much like what Nepal spoke about where we take the media to our public hearings, we make the media a one member of the four member team which does verbal death autopsies. And uh, Dr. Pati, who is leading one of our state alliances, just told me that the reporting has become so much that it's impossible for us to track. We don't know how many journalists are writing about these issues. So we have champions who own t television channels. So they do panel discussions on days like uh, National Safe Motherhood Day. We have a television channel as a partner, CNN IBM, uh, which reaches out to about 36 million viewers. Recently, uh, during the International Women's Day, uh, the media worked with, uh, with the Global Secretariat to, to write about the dreams for my daughter, something that was inspired by Mahadia from Yemen. And in Rwanda, what we did, we went and collected stories from different people, different uh, organizations, NGOs, and they wrote about the dreams they wanted for Rwanda's daughters. And uh, a special magazine was made just for that. In Rwanda right now, the New Times is the most read paper, and every day the online version has about six million readers from around the world. WWE Kenya builds media uh, capacity. We organize workshops to help media personalities understand maternal health problems. Two, we have media champions. The, the WRA champions are media personalities. Three, we have radio campaigns all over. We do road shows, we do convoys and all that. Apart from that, two years ago, you could not have a maternal health issue or news item, but today, twice or three times a week, it's always on TV. Uh, 
So we are uh, printing this advocacy kit. For media representatives, this is an idea uh, inspired from, in, uh, from India, WRA. We finished the film about four delays, and we agreed with the Minister of Media for broadcasting this in all channels this year. As a government and as NGOs, and here uh, really the partnership is very important, we do advocacy for midwives, for example, for the employment, and uh, through some of our support donors, uh, uh, we do the to discover more opportunities for midwife to provide the services. I was instrumental in making sure that the Malawian public learned about safe motherhood issues every Saturday by publishing an article in one of the local papers. For five years I did that, and now I'm happy to say that all those articles have been compiled into a book. A recently released commercial film in cinemas. This movie is on family planning, gender, and maternal health. This film has created box office records in Pakistan. In two weeks, it has earned 50 million rupees. Burkina Faso is uh, the capital of cinema, African cinema in, in Africa, and th that has been a very great opportunity for us to share some product like Aveknu, who is the model of uh, uh, play or part, that have been displayed during the Pan-African cinema of Ouagadougou, that cover a lot of country. We do have also AfriCable that is covering 18 countries in Africa, West Africa, and we use this channel to reach about uh, 40 million of uh, uh, population in terms of uh, sharing about safe motherhood. We had over 170 articles on maternal health reporting, and as WRA, we held a best journalist award where we gave an award to the best uh, story and to the most consistent reporter. Uh, we have trained over 32 media houses, both print and, uh, and, uh, and broadcast media. Uh, then we have also had uh, uh, social networking platforms. Uh, initiated by WRA, National Alliance, and this gives an opportunity and a platform to members from different regions uh, to share experiences from within their uh, regions about maternal health and what they are doing. In Uganda, White Ribbon Alliance is trying to push the, the presidency to ensure that he signs the commitment that has been signed by most of the African countries. There are two people we are looking to, to push this forward. First is the First Lady, who is also the patron of White Ribbon Alliance Uganda. And the second one is Beatrice Wachimari, who is a member of the Global Board, who has been a, a, a big, big champion in Uganda. <laughs> Play Your Part has been shown in the media and it moved the parliamentarian house. 
they asked so many questions related to Mateno newborn health after watching the play your part through the media houses. And also, the media houses has been calling us for live talk shows where we invite uh, government leaders and the people all over the country are listening to those questions and answers. One of the most interesting one is they have asked about the training of uh, some of our midwives. They think maybe the training was not adequate, and we also, as White Ribbon Alliance, thought it was inadequate. So that question was answered by the government uh, official in such a manner that maybe there will be some improvement. We are so honored to have Sarah Brown, Ariana Huffington, and Donna Karen co-hosting this preface to bring attention to the health and survival of pregnant women and newborns. Sarah has been an absolute role model to all of us women. The way, without missing a bit, she went from First Lady of the United Kingdom to being First Lady of maternal health and well-being for babies around the world. So many women going into childbirth without any medical care at all. With no medical care, and as you say, there are a thousand women dying in pregnancy and childbirth every day. Our drive this year has really been to call for a million more health workers. We saw promises last year from the international leaders for $40 billion. It's our job as campaigners, as activists, and as individuals who care passionately to see that those promises are kept, those health workers trained and deployed around the world and those lives of those mums and newborns are saved. Mm -hmm.